Yeah, but I think it's good because it's like you're sure of yourself, kind of like you know exactly what you want. I'm kind of the opposite in that I'm always asking for other people's opinions. I'm like, oh, what do you think about this? What do you think about that? Because I'm not sure of what I want to portray sometimes. What do you think that like stems from? Oh my God, that's a deep question. Um, I don't know. I really don't know. Maybe just wanting approval from other people and making sure that I feel like my opinion is shared by other people as well. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I feel like other people's opinions would drive me insane or lead me to unhappiness because I'm the one that's going to be living with, like, the end results. Yeah, that's true. It's very true. And I think that's something that personally I've got better at as I've got older. It's still there, definitely. I still care what other people think, but I care so much less than, like, 10 years ago, five years ago even. So it's nice that it's kind of fading. fading. Eases, okay. Mm. All right. What was another question? I was, um, the group activities. Do you prefer to work alone or with a group? Which which one do you prefer? I know there was like a couple. I'm looking at it. Do you like participating in group and do or do you prefer to work alone or in groups? I prefer to work alone. Always. <laughs> I'm gonna say eighty percent of the time. Okay. Yeah. Yes. Um, why? Why? There's so many ways. Um, when I, I know I'm a nutcase. When I am just in my element, I just know how my mood is going to be, how fast, how efficient I'm going to be. Um, and I'm just like in a momentum. Whereas if I'm like in a group, you may have someone at a different level yeah. or they're in a different space of like the business. Mm -hmm. I just feel like I kind of just have to start, then stop, start, then stop, start, yeah, then stop. Yeah. And then I just get like uninspired. Yeah. So, um, yeah, I'm in a creative space. So start stopping, start stopping. It gets kind of annoying. Mm -hmm. Um, but yeah, but most of the time and then personally, yeah, I don't know. I just, I like going out by myself because I just don't, yeah, I know what to expect with myself versus a group of women. Oh, God. You don't know what's going to come. Yeah. Yeah. It's um, you don't know who's going to mess up the mood. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I've had my fair share in my 20s. I'm just like, I'm cool. I'm cool with me by myself or yeah. a friend or two. And then, yeah, just keep it simple. Yeah. I probably agree I would say I sway more to working on my own because mm -hmm. I work like a tutor online so I teach people one-on-one -on -one and it's totally like my decision what I teach right. what I'm talking about that day um because I think I don't like listening to other people sometimes when they're like I don't like having a boss <laughs> um so that's part of it but then I do like the social aspect so it depends what kind of job it is I guess and right. the people that you're working with, that can make a huge difference. So if you are with people who you're on the same wavelength with and you think not similarly exactly, but you, you have the same motivation and stuff like that, it can be really productive. Um, but generally, I would definitely prefer to work on my own. Yeah, so we we're we're the same. Yeah, I thought I'm exactly. like I thought I was crazy. No, no. Yeah, I just I don't know group activities even in school and university. I'm like, mm. oh god, we got a group project. Mm. Three of them this semester. Yeah. I would always cringe because yeah. it's yeah. just it's just torture for me. And then you got to find time to to coordinate your schedules mm. and I hate it. Yeah.